Doctor Doom replacing Kane the Conqueror because I know um, I am pro Doom. Comma cuts, you're pro King. Rome, you're both. You're pro both, yes. I guess. You I'm want both. both in it. So, yes. Comma cuts, I want you to state your case because because you and I were kind of debating this earlier this week. So the floor First is yours. First of all, I am not anti Doom. Like I love Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is one of the all time greats. He's the most powerful Marvel villain. I want Doom as much as anyone else. However. Mm-hmm. You know, we have the, the best part of the MCU that we've had in this post end game era has been Kang. And we've been teased so much Kang, and they built him up to be so badass. And now all of a sudden they're talking about swapping him out. No, man, I've been bought into this. I wanted more Kang, I want to see Kang Dynasty. I want to see mm-hmm. Kang lead us into Secret Wars. And by the way, they could do Kang and have Doctor Doom. You know, I think that would be the, the best way to do it and have <laughs> Doctor Doom be the one to take out Kang. And even better, I think it would be cool if they switch up in Secret Wars and have Doctor Doom win, you know, and then take Doctor Doom into the MCU post Secret Wars. I think that would be crazy, you know, because here's the thing. Say they do keep Kang, which is what I would like to see, and they only bring in Doctor Doom in maybe Kang Dynasty or after Kang Dynasty going into Secret Wars. It's a very short amount of time, right, Mm -hmm. to have a villain like Doctor Doom. And if that's the case, you can't kill off Doctor Doom and only have him in for one or two movies, you know. And I think, listen – when the Avengers lose or, like, there's tragedy for the Avengers, historically, those have been the best times. Civil War, the Avengers lost. Infinity War, the Avengers lost. Endgame, they may have won, but they suffered some major L's. So, listen, I, all I'm saying is I like Kang a lot. I think everyone likes Kang a lot. I think some people, you know, hear Doctor Doom and they get so excited that they're like, whatever about Kang. But... Look, I mean, look at the performance Jonathan Majors just put on as Victor Timely. I mean, that was incredible. That was some of the best acting we've had in the MCU. I know I'm always pro recast. I think Kang would be a very difficult recast. And I think that that recent episode with Victor Timely showed why you, you, he's just not a guy that's an easy recast. And, yeah, there's a lot of great actors that, you know, people have thrown the name around for a recast. But, you know, like, I I think the Chala would have been an easier recast than... 100%. Finally, because... I agree. Jonathan Majors is playing... I mean, he's already played three different versions of the character that are, like, totally different people. And mm. to have that much range within the same character is insane and almost unheard of. Um, you know, but listen, like Doctor Doom, if they did replace, say they do replace Kang with Doctor Doom, I don't think that people are going to care. I think Doom need to be implemented in the story, like regardless of, right. you know, recasting or whatever the situation is. Doom has to be in the story, so for them to say, oh, well, they thought about replacing Kang with Doom, and it's like, bro, let's be a thousand percent honest. Like, at the end of the day, we don't know who the Fantastic Four is, and it's been like 500 years. Okay? How long you think it's going to take them to find Doom? Okay? Like, like let's, let, let's, let's think about that from a logical perspective here. That would be hard in general Especially if you don't have anyone there to even play Doom, right? So I think that he needs to be implemented in the story. It doesn't have to be to the degree of directly from the comics. But like you said, he, that would be a cold storyline. If, if, if Doom take out Kang, I didn't even think of it like that. But to me, if you have them both, that just makes it... Because we're getting all the heroes. We know that. We're getting our favorite heroes back, most of them. Let's 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 make it let's make it an event, right? So just for them to say, ah, we'll just scrap Kane 
and then we'll do Dr. Doom. I'm like, mm, I don't, th I don't think they should do that. That's just me personally. I think you got to find a way to make, make them both work to me. That's just me. Yeah. Yeah. So where I'm at with everything is obviously, honestly, we don't really know what's going to happen until this case is over. I think that that case decides what's going to happen um, for sure. But if I was in Feige's position, as I said, I, I just don't think you I, I don't even know why they would do Secret Wars without Doctor Doom anyways. Crazy, you know, mm -hmm. crazy situation thing. Plus cuz they already have the rights to these uh characters. And after playing the Spider-Man game, seeing how, you know, Venom was branded as the main villain, but there were or I'm sorry, Craven was branded kind of as the main villain in the game, but then you got Venom and you know, it, and it just hinted to the Green Goblin and all all of these other things. It's like it kind of surprised you. So, you know, if, if if Marvel does have the opportunity to do both, I wouldn't mind it to where, like, Kang Dynasty is all about Kang, you know, taking over, and then Doom comes in, takes him out, and then, you know, then we go to Secret Wars where you know, the, the situation gets even worse. I think that that would be awesome. I do think, though, that how would that fit into the Fantastic Four movie? Because right now it looks like the way that the Fantastic Four movie is going to be is that, you know, they're going to be facing off against Galactus, and Galactus is going to, to, to destroy their Earth, and they're going to get moved to our MCU timeline from losing to Galactus. So, you know, I think there's a lot of questions, you know, with Doctor Doom kind of taking a role, because where would he get introduced in the future, you know, if if that's the route that the Fantastic Four goes now, you maybe could do like a big beginning, you know, well, what if the first maybe 30 is about Doctor Doom or something? You know, don't you know how like, like, do you know how like Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier, right? Um, yeah. Or, I'm sorry. Don't you know how like Captain America Civil War, he will, he uh went, he went up against uh, Crossbones, but that mm -hmm. whole Crossbones mini storyline was kind of built at the end of the Winter Soldier. Maybe they can do something like that to where like that will hint to something more. But um, that that's my only fear with with Doctor Doom is like if this if this F four movie is going to be be about Galactus, how do you fit Doctor Doom like into it? And this is where I this is where my answer is. It would have to be Doctor Strange three, because Doctor Doom is a sorcerer, Doctor Strange is a sorcerer, and the rumor for that Doctor Strange movie is that, you know, they're going to be kind of going through the multiverse and, and, and all of that jazz and dealing with, like, Mephisto. Doctor Doom had to deal with Mephisto to save his mom, so maybe that might be yeah. a way to bring him in. Um, yeah. And I actually wouldn't mind Doctor Doom coming in being connected to Doctor Strange. 